I had concerns about the structural issue of the amendment itself, and uh, one of the things that was really hard to overcome was Professor Blumstein's testimony in the Judiciary Committee last week where he said we've got, um, and here, here's, by the way, as a man who is for TenCare, he helped with, with TenCare, a big advocate of the Medicaid expansion and um, a big advocate of the governor's plan. But he was saying to us, there are too many things that have been verbally promised by the federal government that you need to have memorialized in your agreement. And without them being in the agreement, then we're at the risk of CMS or HHS changing their mind down the road. And what happens if we go through the Obama administration, move into a new presidency? Uh, we've got all new uh, people involved, all new secretaries with HHS. Do they honor the agreement? Does the institutional memory go away and they forget what they told us? What happens? And the best, the best, you know, thing to protect Tennessee is to have it in writing. You bring in a new administration, and your problem is. I mean, you have to stop and think conceptually. Conceptually, the White House wants these 200, 300, 400,000 people enrolled in Medicaid. That's what they want. So we've tried to take that desire and leverage it to what we've re referred to as, you know, Insure Tennessee, which we say is uniquely Tennessee. But at the end of the day, what it does is put those people into coverage that the Obama administration wants under coverage. So if in two years from now we come along and say it's not working, we want to unenroll these people. Well, now all of a sudden, we're doing exactly what the Obama administration does not want to happen. And they can change the rules. And they can say, sorry, we're not going to go along with that. And we're stuck. And that's, that's our problem, because they hold leverage 20% of our state budget. We've got to look out for the people of Tennessee. We can't agree to anything that puts 20% of our state budget at risk. You know, this was a health committee, so we're talking about health policy and is it good policy for Tennessee? Well, yes, it's good policy to have healthy Tennesseans, but is this the way to achieve it or is it the only way to achieve it? And one of the things I will take exception to is this notion that we are doing nothing. There's, there's absolutely no reason that we can't uh, go in a different direction, that we can't do something else. And, um, and to say that if we reject this, we're doing nothing, it's just not true. I mean, there are any number of things that we can do moving, moving forward. And I'm sure if we put together uh, a group of hospital administrators, they could probably tell us really quickly about how they lose money dealing with the state or dealing with TennCare, where we can achieve some, some cost savings and help some of these hospitals that are in need. So uh, voting this the way we did today is not doing nothing. It just says that's not the way that we think is best for Tennessee.